So we come to the last of the weight divisions. So the minimum weight, minimum weight division or the straw weight division. I prefer to call it the straw weight, but hey hey. Um, so the IBF were the first to mark with the minimum division, which also was known as the mini flyweight division. Um, I wasn't mentioned straw weight there, but it was the straw weight division as well. Um, weight limit of 105 pounds. So they crowned the inaugural champion in June 1987, within six months. There were rival champions for the WBC, WBA. The divisions has proved especially popular in the Orient, although the only truly outstanding champion so far, uh, I'm not too sure if I agree with this, but um, produced what has been the Mexican Ricardo Lopez. Um, but again, so I digress there, so let's come back to, the, it's the IBF title to start off with. So you've got June the 14th, 2017, um, June the 14th, start again, 1987. You've got uh, Kyung Yong Lee from Korea wins in the second round against Masahara Kaul. Kawakami from Japan and he wins in the second round by KO in Bajok, uh, Korea. So Lee vacated the title in 1987 to challenge for the WBC version. So you've got March the 24th, 1988, Samaf Sif. The Europol from Thailand wins in the 11th round. Referee stops the match against Domingo Lucas from the Philippines in Bangkok, Thailand. And that was at a vacant title. So, August the 29th, 1988. Samath Sith Yan Europol from Thailand wins on points over 15 rounds uh, against In Kyu Huang from Korea in Bangkok, Thailand. Then you got March the 23rd, 1989. Samath Sifan Europol from Thailand draws with Nico Thomas from Indonesia in Jakarta, Indonesia. So we Got um, June seventeenth, nineteen eighty nine. Nico Thomas wins and points over twelve rounds against Samaf Safan Europol uh, from Thailand in Jakarta, Indonesia. Then you got September the twenty first, nineteen eighty nine. Eric Chavez from the Philippines wins by KO in the fifth round against Nico Thomas. from Indonesia. Uh, fifth round KO for Eric Chavez from Philippines against Nico Thomas from the Indonesia. This was in Jakarta, Indonesia. Then we've got February 22nd, 1990. Fathan Luck Mingguan from Thailand wins in the seventh round. Referee stops the match against Eric Chavez. <coughs> From the Philippines, <clears throat> referee stops the match in the seventh round against Chavez or Lak Ming Wan from Thailand. That was in Bangkok, Thailand. Then we got June the 14th, 1990. Lak Lak Ming Wan from Thailand wins and points over 12 rounds against Joe. Constantino from Philippines, that was in Bangkok, Thailand, and then we got August in the 15th, 1990, Pathan Luck Ming Wang Ming Kwang from Thailand wins on points over 12 rounds against Eric Chavez from the Philippines in Bangkok, Thailand. Then you got December the 20th, 1990, Pathan Luck. Ming Kwan draws over 12 rounds against Domingo Lucas uh, in Bangkok, Thailand that was, that fight. And then 
July 22nd, 1991, Fahlan Luck Ming Kwan from Thailand wins on points over 12 rounds against Abdi Pohan from Indonesia and Bangkok, Thailand, October 21st, 1991, Fahlan Luck Ming Kwan Ming Kwan from Thailand wins on points over 12 rounds against Andy Tabanas from the Philippines in Bangkok, Thailand, February 23rd, 1992. Hatlan Lakmingwan wins by KO in the second round against Felix Naranjo from Colombia in Bangkok, Thailand. And then June 14th, 1992. Hatlan Lakmingwan from Thailand wins in the eighth round. Referee stops the match against Siad Iskander from Indonesia and in Bangkok, Thailand. And you got September the 6th, 1992. Manny Melcher from the Philippines wins over 12 rounds on points against Fatlan Luck Ming Kwan from Thailand. And that was in Bangkok, Thailand. Wins on points, Manny Melcher. So let's go back to these two. So June 14th, 1992, Fatlan Luck Ming Kwan wins. Actually, let's go back a little bit more. So February 23rd, 1992, Fatlan Luck Ming Kwan wins by KO in the second round against Felix Naranjo from Colombia and Bangkok, Thailand. Then you've got June 14th, 1992, Fatlan Luck Ming Kwan from Thailand wins in the eighth round. Ruffy stops the match against Siad Iskander from Indonesia. In Bangkok, Thailand, September the 6th, 1992, Manny Melcher from the Philippines wins on points over 12 rounds against Fahlan Luck Ming Kwan from Thailand. That was in Bangkok, Thailand. Then we got, oh yeah, December the 10th, 1992. Getting a good fight at this one. A cracking fighter for these divisions. Um, Rutam, Rut, Rutamapol Sarvorapin from Thailand wins on points over 12 rounds against Manny Melcher. Uh, that was in Bangkok, Thailand. So, I'm going to go down from here. So, Yeah, so Vorupin always boxed as Ratanal and Ratanapol uh, and Dutch boy Jim. Um, again, they have two or three names with the Thai ones and with the sponsors and gyms, etc. Uh, can get quite confusing, but March the 14th, 1994, Ratanapol Sarvorupin wins the seventh round. Referee stops the match against Nico Thomas from Indonesia in Nanghon, Thailand. Then uh, June the 27th, 1993, Ratanar, Ratanapol Sarvorapin wins in the seventh round by retirement against Ala Villamar from the Philippines in Bangkok, Thailand. September the 26th, 1993, Ratanapol, Ratanapol Sarvorapin wins in the fourth round. Referee stops the match. Yeah, so Ratanapol wins in the fourth round. Let's go back a little bit. So, June 27th, 1993, Ratanapol Sarvorapin wins in seventh round uh, against Ala Villamore from Philippines in Bangkok, Thailand. <coughs> you got September 29th, 1993, Ratanapol. Ratanapol Sarvorapin wins in the fourth round. Referee stops the match against Dominguez Sawalet from Indonesia. That was in Bangkok, Thailand. And then you've got September 26th, 1993. Ratanapol Sarvorapin 
We've done that one. Beach Dominguez, Sawas, Sawalet, from Indonesia. December the 10th, 1993. Ratanapal Sarvorupin wins in the second round. Referee stops the match against Felix Naranjo from Colombia. That was in Safan Buri, Bangkok. Then, February 27th, 1994, Ratanapal Sarvorupin wins on points over 12 rounds against Ronnie. Magrama from the Philippines in Bangkok, Thailand. Then you've got May the 14th, 1994. Ratanapal Savorapin wins in the sixth round. And I've skipped one here. Gonna go back. If I might have skipped one. No, I haven't. I'll do it anyway. So February 27th, 1994. Ratanapal Savorapin wins on points over 12 rounds against Ronnie Magrama. In the Philippines, in Bangkok, Thailand, then May the 14th, 1994. Ratanapal Sarvorapin from Thailand wins on points. Over six, sorry, wins in the sixth round. Ruffy stops the match for Ratanapal Sarvorapin against Roger S. Banola from the Philippines, in Bangkok, Thailand. Then you've got August the 13th, 2000 and, sorry, 1994. Ratanapal Sarvorapin wins in the fourth round against Marcelino Bolivar from Venezuela in Buriam, Thailand. Then we go November the 12th, 1994. Ratanapal Sarvorapin wins by KO in the third round against Carlos Rodriguez from Venezuela in Coquin, Thailand. February 25th, 1995. Ratanapal Sarvorapin wins in the third round. November 12th, 1994, Ratanapal Sarvorapin. Just to make sure, I'm going to go back actually. August 13th, 1994, Ratanapal Sarvorapin wins in the fourth round. Referee stops the match against Marcelino Bolivar from Venezuela and Buriam, Thailand. Then you've got November the 12th, 1994, Ratanapal Sarvorapin wins by KO in the third round against Carlos Rodriguez in Ver from Venezuela in Coquine, uh, Thailand. And in February 25th, 1995, Ratanapal Sarvorapin wins in the third round again. Referee stops the match this time though against Jerry Pahayahay from the Philippines in Bangkok, Thailand. May the 20th, 1995, Ratanapal Sarvorapin from Thailand wins in the second round. Roughly stops the match against Oscar Flores from Colombia in Chiang Mai, Thailand. <clears throat> October the 29th, 1995, Ratanapal Sarvorapin wins by KO against Jack Russell uh, from Australia in Sufan Buri, Thailand. December the 30th, 1995, Ratanapal Sarvorapin from Thailand wins in sixth round. <clears throat> Roughly stops the match against Osvaldo Guerrero from Mexico in Bangkok, Bangkok Thailand. March 1986, IBF stripped Ratanapal Sarvorapin for failing to make the way for a defence against Lee Castillo, but they allowed him to fight for the title immediately. So he's still going. I know he had a long reign. Uh, Ratanapal Sarvorapin. May the 18th, 1996. Ratanapal Sarvorapin wins on points over 12 rounds against John Arlos from the Philippines in Yala, Thailand. April. So July, July 13th. 1996, Ratanapal Sarvorapin wins by KO in the third round against Joseph Orgaliza from the Philippines in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Then September 28th, 1996, Ratanapal Sarvorapin wins by KO in the fifth round against Oscar, against Oscar Andrade in Prajukirkum, uh, Thailand. November the 24th, 1996, Ratanapal Sarvorapin from Thailand wins by KO 
in the second round against Gustavo Vera from Venezuela in or Don Fanny, Thailand. Then March 22nd, 1997, Ratanapal Saar Borupin from Thailand wins in the fourth round. Ravi stops the match against Luis Doria from Colombia in Suraburi, Thailand. June the 14th, 1997, Ratanapal Saar Borupin wins on points over 12 rounds against Juanito Herrera from Mexico in Bangkok, Thailand. August the 30th, 1997, Ratanapal Saar Borupin wins in the second round. Referee stops the match in the second round against Wellington Vincent from Brazil in Nokai, Thailand. She had a long old reign there. Yeah, yeah not far under 20 there. Matches for the title, but... Um, for Vorapin, Ratan also Vorapin. I know he's a good fighter there. But it's a long old reign now. So, December 27th, 1997. Zelani Patello from South Africa wins. Does actually say how against Ratan Paul Sarvorapin in Songkhya, Thailand. So, March 21st, 1998. Zelani Patello from South Africa wins on points. Over 12 rounds, it Riasol Akbar. From Indonesia in a hum scroll, South Africa. July the 4th, 1998. Zelani Patello wins in the seventh round. Referee stops the match against Carmelo Cacares Cesares from the Philippines in Hum scroll, South Africa. May the 29th, 1999. Zelani Patello wins by KO in the first round against Eric. Jamili from the Philippines in Hammond Scroll. He was that was in Hammond Scroll, South Africa, December third, nineteen ninety nine. Zelani Patello. December the third. Where are we? December the third, nineteen ninety nine. Zelani Patello. Wins on points over 12 rounds against Junito Rubala from the Philippines in Petersburg, England. So we got June the 2nd, 2000. Zolani Patello wins in the 8th round. Ruffy stops the match against Mickey Cantwell from England. Remember seeing him in the ABAs on TV? That was in Ashford, England. December 2000, Zalani Patello from South Africa relinquishes his title because of weight problems. So, for the vacant title, we go from here. April 29th, 2001, Roberto Leiva from Mexico wins some points. Over 12 rounds against Daniel Rees. From Colombia in New York for the bacon title. September 29th, 2001. Roberto Leva gets a technical draw in the third round against Miguel Barrera from Colombia in Ensenada, Mexico. August the 9th, 2002. Miguel Barrera from Colombia wins on points over 12 rounds against Roberto Leva from Mexico in Las Vegas, Nevada. Then March 22nd, 2003, Miguel Barrera wins by KO in the third round against Roberto Leiva from uh, Mexico in Las Vegas, Nevada. May the 31st, 2003, Edgar Cuadenas from Mexico wins by KO in the 10th round against Miguel Barrera in Tijuana, Mexico. October the 4th, 2004, Daniel Reyes from Colombia wins in the sixth round. Referee stops the match against Edgar Cardenas in Los, Los Angeles, California. September the 14th, 2005. Mohamed Rachman from Indonesia wins on points over 12 rounds against Daniel Reyes uh, from Jakarta, Indonesia. And we've got April the 5th, 2006. Mohamed Rachman gets a technical draw in three rounds against Farhan Sakrin 
from Thailand. Technical draw over three rounds. That was in Mariuk, Mariuk, Indonesia. Then we go May 6, 2006. Mohamed Rachman from Indonesia wins by KO in his sixth round against Omar Soto from Mexico and Jakarta, Indonesia. Then we're going to go December the 23rd, 2006. Mohamed Rachman wins in his seventh round against Benji Sorola from the Philippines in Jakarta, Indonesia. July the 7th, 2007. Florence Cons from Philippines wins in points over 12 rounds against Mohamed Rachman from Indonesia in Jakarta, Indonesia. Then we go June 14th, 2008. Raul Garcia from Mexico wins in points over 12 rounds against Fla Florent Condes in La Paz, Mexico. Lovely. It's going to go up here. Yeah. So from here, when it goes September the 13th, 2008. Raul Garcia wins and points over 12 rounds against Jose Luis Pereira from Venezuela. That was in La Paz, Mexico. Then December the 13th, 2008, Raul Garcia wins. On points over 12 rounds against Jose Luis Varela. Uh, 12 rounds points decision in Loreto, Mexico. Then April the 11th, 2009, Raul, Var Raul Garcia wins in the sixth round. The referee stops the match against Ronel Ronald Barrera from Colombia, La Paz, Mexico. Then August 22nd, 2009, Raul Garcia wins on points over 12 rounds against Sammy Gutierrez from Mexico in Los Cabos, Mexico. Then March 26th, 2010, Nakosinathi Joye from South Africa wins on points over 12 rounds against Raul Garcia. In East London, South Africa, I think. Uh, and then January 29th, 2011, Nokasinathi Joyi gets a no contest over three rounds against Katsunari Takayama from Japan in Brackpan, South Africa. Then March 20th, 2012, not Kosinathi Joye wins on points over 12 rounds against Katsunari Takayama from Japan, Joye from South Africa, and that was in East London, South Africa. September the 1st, 2012. Mario Rodriguez from Mexico wins by KO. Against Nokosinathi Joye. That was in Orsay, Mexico. Then at March the 30th, 2013, Katsunari Takayama from Japan wins on points over 12 rounds. Against Mario Rodriguez in Guasave, Mexico. Then December the 3rd, 2013, Katsunari Takayama wins and points over 12 rounds against Virgilio Silvano from the Philippines in Osaka, Japan. May 
May the 7th, 2014, Katsunori Takayama from Japan wins and points over 12 rounds against Shin Ono from Japan in Osaka, Japan. Then April the 22nd, 2015, Katsunori Takayama wins a technical, technical points win over 9 rounds against Pahlan Sakurin from Thailand in Osaka, Japan. The WBC title now. October the 18th, 1987. Hiroki Loka from Japan wins on points over 12 rounds against Mia Thorn Burifam Farm from Thailand in Osaka, Japan. January 31st, 1988. Hiroki Loka from Japan. Wins in the 12th round. Referee stops the match against Kyung Young Lee from Korea in Osaka, Japan. June 5th, 1988. Hiroki Loka draws over 12 rounds against Napa Kiatwanchai from Thailand. For 12 rounds in Osaka, Japan. In November 13th, 1988, Napa Kia Chai wins some points. Kian Chan Chai from Thailand. Napa Kian Tan Chai from Thailand wins some points over 12 rounds against Hiroki Loka from Japan in Osaka, Japan. Then February 11th, 1989, Napa Kia Chai from Thailand. Wins on points over 12 rounds against John Arief from Indonesia. That was in Bangkok, Thailand. June 10th, 1989. Napa Kian Tantwai wins in the 11th round. Referee stops the match against Hiroki Loka from Japan in Osaka, Japan. November the 12th, 1989, Jum Hwan Choi from Korea wins in the 12th round. For referee stops the match is Napa Kiat Hwan Choi from Thailand in Seoul, Korea. Then, February the 7th, 1990, Hidoyuki Ohashi from Japan. Oh, you go back. November the 12th, 1989, Jung Hwang Joy from Korea wins in the 12th round. Referee stops the match against Napa Kian Tan Kiat Wan Shai from Thailand. Referee stops the match in the 12th round in Seoul, Korea. February. February 2nd. 1990. So we go February seventh, actually, nineteen ninety, February the seventh, nineteen ninety, Hidoyuki Ohashi from Japan. Wins by KO in the ninth round against Jum Huang Choi in Tokyo, Japan. Then uh, June 8th, 1990, Hidoyuki Ohashi from Japan wins on points over 12 rounds against Napa Kiatan Choi from Thailand in Tokyo, Japan. Then October 25th, 1990, uh, again, some say the greatest straw weight, um, obviously. You know, there was people this way around a long time ago, like the Jimmy Wilds and all that. But again, in the modern, you know, uh, since the division was in, invented in 1987, Ricardo Lopez is generally recognised by a lot as the best strawweight ever. I digress, so back to this. October 25th, 1990, Ricardo Lopez from Mexico wins in the fifth round. Referee stops the match against 
Hidayuki Ohashi from Japan in Tokyo, Japan. Then May 19th, 1991, Ricardo Lopez wins in the eighth round. Referee stops the match against Kimio Hirano from Japan in Shizuka, Japan. December the 22nd, 1991, Ricardo Lopez wins on points over 12 rounds against Kyung Yun Lee from Korea in Incheon, Korea. March the 16th, 1992, Ricardo Lopez wins on points. Oh, it says 21 rounds, it would have been 12, but it would have been 21 or 15 then even, um, against Domingo Lucas. 12 rounds, point to zoo, not 21, must print there, easy done. So a lot of info here. In Mexico City, Mexico. Then August 22nd, 1992, Ricardo Lopez wins in the fifth round. KO against Singh Prasset Kit Kasem from Thailand in Cuadad Madero, Mexico. So October 11th, 1992, Ricardo Lopez wins by KO in the second round against Rocky Lim from Japan in Tokyo, Japan. Then March the 31st, 1993, Ricardo Lopez wins in the ninth round against Kwang Su Ui from Korea, in Seoul, Korea. Then you've got July the 3rd, 1993, Ricardo Lopez wins in the second round, referee stops the match against Saman Sarjatarong from Thailand, good fighter, uh, from Nuevo Laredo, Mexico, that was in. So, December the 18th, 1993, Ricardo Lopez from Mexico wins in the 11th round by KO against Manny Melchor, Manny Cobb Melchor in Lake Tahoe. And then this uh, May the 7th, 1994, Ricardo Lopez wins over 12 rounds against Kerman Guardia from Colombia and Las Vegas, Nevada. September the 17th, 1994, Ricardo Lopez wins in the first round. Referee stops the match against Yod Singh U Sian Morocot from Thailand. In the first round, referee stops the match in Las Vegas, Nevada. November the 12th, 1994, Ricardo Lopez wins in the eighth round. Referee stops the match against Javier Barguez from Mexico, in Mexico City, Mexico. Then we got December the 10th, 1994. Ricardo Lopez wins by KO in the first round against Yamil Carvalho from Colombia in Monterrey. Monterrey. In Mexico. First round win against Caraballo for Ricardo Lopez. So April the 1st, 1995, Ricardo Lopez wins in the 12th round. Referee stops the match against Andy Tabernas in state line. Then March 16th, 1996, Ricardo Lopez wins by KO in the 8th round against Ala Villamore from the Philippines in Las Vegas, Nevada, June 29th, 1996. Ricardo Lopez wins in the 3rd round by KO against Katichai Preacher, Preacher from Thailand in India. November the 9th, 1996. Ricardo Lopez wins in the sixth round against Morgan Naduma from South Africa in Las Vegas, Nevada. Then December the 7th, 1996, Ricardo Lopez wins in the first round. Referee stops the match against Myung Suk Park from Korea in Indio. Then March the 29th, 1997, Ricardo Lopez wins on points over 12 rounds against Monkil 
carry on from Thailand in Las Vegas, Nevada. Go to the WBA title now. So January the 18th, 1988, Leo Gamez from Venezuela wins some points over 12 rounds against Bong Jun Kim from Korea in Pusan, Korea. Then April the 24th, 1988, Luis Gamez wins in the third round. Referee stops the match against Kenji Yokozawa from Japan. Uh, and in February 1988, Gamez vacated the title to box at light flyweight. So, April 16th, 1989, Bong Jun Kim from Korea, I'm sure he was from Korea, yeah, uh, wins in the seventh round, the referee stops the match against Augustin Garcia from Colombia in Seoul, Korea. But the vacant title, August the 6th, 1989, Bong Jun Kim wins on points over 12 rounds against Sam Jung Lee from Korea in Seoul, Korea in October the 22nd, 1989, Bong Jun Kim wins in the ninth round. Referee stops the match against John Arief in Pohang, Colombia, uh, Pohang, Korea. Then February 10th, 1990, Bong Jun Kim wins in the third round. <coughs> Referee stops the match against Pechai Chowatana from <coughs> Thailand in Seoul, Korea. May the 13th, 1990, Bong Jung Kim wins a technical decision over five rounds against Silvero Barcenas from Panama in Seoul, Korea. Then November the 3rd, 1990, Bong Jung Kim wins on points over 12 rounds against Silvero Barcenas from Panama in Seoul, Korea. Then we got... <coughs> February 2nd, 1991. Hee Yeon Choi from Korea wins on points over 12 rounds against Bong Jun Kim from Korea in Seoul, Korea. So we got February 2nd, 1991. Hee Yeon Choi from Korea wins on points over 12 rounds against Bong Jun Kim from Korea in Seoul, Korea. Then we got June fifteenth, nineteen ninety-one. He He Yon Choi wins on points over twelve rounds against Sugar Ray Mike from the Philippines in Seoul, Korea. Then we got. October the 26th, 1991. Hee Choi wins on points over 12 rounds against Bong Jun Kim from Korea, both from Korea, in Seoul, Korea. Then we've got February the 22nd, 1992. Hee Choi wins in the 10th round, referee stops the match against Ryuchi Hosono from Japan in Seoul, Korea. Then June the 13th, 1992. Hyun Choi wins in the third round by KO against Romel Lawas from the Philippines in Incheon, Korea. October the 14th, 1992. Hideyuki Ohashi from Japan wins on points over 12 rounds against Hyun Choi from Korea in Tokyo, Japan. Then February the 10th, 1993. Chono Paul Payon. So, October the 14th, 1992. So, February. So, October the 14th, 1992. Hidoyaki Ohashi wins on points over 12 rounds against Hi Yon Choi, Tokyo, Japan. Then we've got. Yeah, so. May the 9th, 1993. 
So February 10th, 1993, Chana Por Por Payon Payim from Thailand wins some points over 12 rounds against Hideyashi Hideyaki Ohashi from Japan in Tokyo, Japan. Then we got May the 9th, 1993, Chana Por Payon wins the points over 12 rounds against Carlos Murillo from Panama and Bangkok, Thailand. Then August 22nd, 1993, Chana Por Payon from Thailand wins. So, Yeah, August 22nd, 1993, Chana Paul Payon. Twenty second, nineteen ninety three, Chana Paul Payon wins on points over twelve rounds against Ronnie Magramo from the Philippines in Bangkok, Thailand. And there we go. November the twenty eighth, nineteen ninety three. Chana Paul Payoin from Thailand wins by KO in the fourth round against Rafael Torres from Dominican Republic in Pichit, Thailand, March 27th, 1994. Chana Paul Payoin wins some points over 12 rounds against Carlos Murillo from Panama in Chonburi, Thailand, August 27th, 1994. Chana Paul Payoin Wins some points over 12 rounds against Kyung Yong Kang from Korea in Pet Chabun, Thailand. Then we've got November the 5th, 1994. Chana Paul wins from Thailand wins some points over 12 rounds against Manuel Herrera from Dominican Republic in Hat Yai, Thailand. January 28th, 1995, Chana Paul Payoin from Thailand wins on points over 12 rounds against Yui Hu Kim from Korea and Bangkok, Thailand. August the 5th, 1995, Chana Paul Payoin from Thailand wins by KO in the sixth round against Ernesto, Ernesto Rubilar Jr. from the Philippines in Bangkok, Thailand. December the 2nd, 1995, Rosendo Alvarez from Nicaragua wins some points over 12 rounds against Chana Paul Poyoin from Thailand in Bangkok, Thailand. March the 30th, 1996, Rosendo Alvarez from Nicaragua wins by KO in the third round against Kerman Guardia from Colombia in Managua, Nicaragua. Then, June the 15th, 1996, Rosendo Alvarez wins on points over 12 rounds against Kenta Sato, a.k.a. Eric Chavez. So he changed his name. Uh, yeah. I thought Japan next to it, but I'm not too sure. I thought he's Philippines, but Kenta Sato, a.k.a. Eric Chavez. So he must have changed his name. Kanto Sato, uh, that was in Sendai, Japan, October the 1st, 1996. Rosendo Alvarez wins by KO in the eighth round against Takashi Shihama from Japan in Kitakyushi, Japan. And then January 11th, 1997, Rosendo Alvarez wins in the eleventh round. Roughly stops the match against Songkram Paul. Pioin from Thailand in Saku, Thailand. So November 1998, Alvera stripped of the WBA title in November 1998 before a unification bout against the WBC champion Ricardo Lopez. On March 7th, 1998, they fought a technical draw. Oh, so that's, I think that was the only draw. Um, his record again, yeah, like 50 fights, I think. Ricardo Lopez, I'm sure it was something like that. I think he had like one, one or two draws, but he had no losses. So I'm just going to turn the page. Yeah. So 
January the 31st, 1999, Songkram Porpayoin from Thailand wins a technical decision at the nine rounds against Ronnie Nagramo from the Philippines in Pattaya, Thailand. And then the WBO title, uh, August 31st, 1989, Rafael Torres from Dominican Republic wins on points over 12 rounds against Yamil Caraballo from Colombia and San Santo Domingo, Bahamas, I think. Uh, then July 31st, 1990, Rafael Torres from Dominican Republic wins on points over 12 rounds against Rosni Ray from India, um, Indi Indonesia, in Jakarta, Indonesia. In May 1992, Torres was stripped. Rafael Torres from Dominican Republic was stripped of his title. Back in a bit, Rasni Ray from Indonesia in Indonesia. 12 round points decision, and he was stripped. Then we got the Scottish Paul Weir. So, seen a few of his fights. Uh, May the 15th, 1993, Paul Weir from Scotland wins in the seventh round. The referee stops the match at the seven rounds against Fernando Martinez from Mexico. In Me from Mexico, Fernando Martinez in Glasgow, Scotland, the vacant title. And then October the 25th, 1993. Paul Weir wins on points over 12 rounds against Lindy Mamani from South Africa in Glasgow, Scotland, December 1993. Weir vacated the title to box at Light Flyway. So we got December the 22nd, 1993. Alex Sanchez from Puerto Rico wins in the first round. Referee stops the match against Orlando Malone from the US in Sanjong for the vacant title. And then we got January 7th, 1994, Alex Sanchez wins in the first round. Referee stops the match against Artario Garcia Mayen from the US in Palma, Spain. Then we got August 13th, 1994, Alex Sanchez wins by KO in the first round against Carlos Jean Rodriguez from Dominican Republic in Bayamon, Puerto Rico. Then September the 10th, 1994, Alex Sanchez from Puerto Rico. September the 10th, 1994, Alex Sanchez from Puerto Rico wins by KO in the fourth round against Oscar Andrade from Mexico. By KO there, Hamburg, Germany. January the 28th, 1995, Alex Sanchez wins on points over 12 rounds against Rafael Orozco from Mexico in Las Vegas, Nevada. Then July 29th, 1995, Alex Sanchez wins on points over 12 rounds against Thomas Rivera in San Antonio, Texas. March 29th, 1997, Alex Sanchez wins on points over 12 rounds against Victor Burgos from Mexico. That's Las Vegas, Nevada. Then, WBO, WBC title, uh, August 23rd, 1997, Ricardo Lopez wins in the fourth round, roughly stops the match against Alex Sanchez from Puerto Rico in New York, uh, March 1998, Lopez, Ricardo Lopez was stripped of the WBO title, so... Now it's the WBA and WBC titles together. Just two matches here. Uh, March the 7th, 1998. Ricardo Lopez gets a technical draw over seven rounds against Rosendo Alvarez in Mexico City, Mexico. Then November the 13th, 1998. Ricardo Lopez wins on points over 12 rounds against Rosendo Alvarez in Las Vegas, Nevada. Then Alvarez failed to make the way for the fight, so he's allowed to go ahead, although it was recognised only by the WBC with the WBA title not at stake. 
technically it was not a unification fight. So, yeah, a bit of uh, confusion there. So we're going to go from here. May the 30th, 1998, Kerman Gardia from Colombia wins in the fifth round by retirement against Eric Chimili from the Philippines in Las Vegas, Nevada. Then we got March 27th, 1999, Kerman Gardia win from Colombia wins on points over 12 rounds against Eric Jamali from Philippines in Miami, Florida. October 30th, 1999, Kerman Gardia wins on points over 12 rounds against Luis Lazarat from Argentina in Mar del Plata, Argentina. April 6th, 2001. Kerman Gardia wins on points over 12 rounds against Juan Alfonso Quebas from Mexico in Merida, Mexico. Then Kerman Gardia was stripped of the title because of his inactivity. So we got. June 29th, 2002, George Mata from Spain wins in the, sixth, in the ninth round. Referee stops the match against Rialdo Frutas from Panama in Palma, Spain. November 22nd, 2002, George Mata wins in points over 12 rounds against Giaro Arango from Panama in Lyon, France. Then March 28th, 2003, Eduardo Marquez from Nicaragua wins the 11th round. Referee stops the match against George Mata in Madrid, Spain. Then May 3rd, 2003, El Ivan Calderon from Mexico wins a technical decision in nine rounds over Eduardo Marquez in Las Vegas, Nevada. Then we got September the 5th, 2003, Ivan Calderon from Mexico wins on points over 12 rounds against Lorenzo Trejo from Mexico in Caguas, Mexico. December the 6th, 2003, Ivan Calderon wins on points over 12 rounds against Alex Sanchez from Puerto Rico in Bayamon, Puerto Rico. Then July 31st, 2004, Ivan Calderon wins on points over 12 rounds against Roberto Leiva from Mexico in Las Vegas, Nevada. Then... November 27th, 2004, Ivan Calderon wins on points over 12 rounds against Carlos Fajardo from Nicaragua. Wins on points there, Las Vegas, Nevada. Then May 30th, 2005, Ivan Calderon wins in the 8th round. Referee stops the match against Noel Junacal from Philippines in Hato Rey, Puerto Rico. Then June 25th, 2005, Ivan Calderon from Mexico, June 25th, 2005, Ivan Calderon from Mexico wins in points over 12 rounds against Gerardo Verde from Mexico, Atlantic City, New Jersey. Then you've got December 10th, 2005, Ivan Calderon wins on points over 12 rounds against Daniel Reyes from Colombia in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Then February 18th, 2006, Ivan Calderon wins over 12 rounds on points against Isaac Bustos from Mexico, Las Vegas, Nevada. Then April the 29th, 2006, Ivan Calderon from Mexico. April 29th, 2006. Actually, let's go back just to make sure. February 18th, 2006, Ivan Calderon wins in points over 12 rounds against Isaac Bustos from Mexico, Las Vegas, Nevada. Then April the 29th, 2006, Ivan Calderon wins in the ninth round. Referee stops the match against Miguel Tales from Nicaragua in Guaynabo, Mexico. Then we got October 21st, 2006, Ivan Calderon wins on points over 12 rounds against Josh Luis Varela from Venezuela in Barranquilla. 
uh, Barranquilla is Colombia, I'm sure. It says Mexico. It is. Yeah, so it's then October 28th, 2007. Ivan Cauldron wins on points. Over 12 rounds. It's Ronald Barrera from Colombia in Barranquilla, Colombia. Then Cauldron relinquishes the title when he moved up to fight for and become the light flyweight champion. Or the junior flyweight, whatever you want to call that. The weight above. So September 30th, 2007. Donny Nietes wins on points against Porn Sawat Kratin Dean Jim from Thailand. Good fighter, uh, long name though, and Kebu, Philippines, for the vacant title. Then you've got August the 30th, 2008. Donny Nietes from the Philippines wins by KO in the second round against Eddie Castro from Nicaragua in Kebu City, Philippines. Then February 28th, 2009, Donny Nietes wins on points over 12 rounds against Eric Ramirez uh, from Mexico in Osaka, Mexico. September the 12th, 2009, Donny Nietes from Philippines wins on points over 12 rounds against Manuel Vargas from Mexico in Tepic, Mexico. Then August 14th, 2010, Donny Nietes wins on points over 12 rounds against Mario Rodriguez in Guasav. Mexico. Donny Nietes from the Philippines relinquishes the WBO title. The WBA had previously sanctioned the following interim fights. So, we're going to go from here. September 26th, 2008. Daniel Reyes from Colombia wins and points over 12 rounds against Luis Alberto Lazard from Mexico in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Then December 6th, 2008. Manuel Vargas wins by KO in the fourth round against Daniel Reyes in Lagos de Moreno, Mexico. In February the 14th, 2009, Manuel Vargas wins on points over 12 rounds against Walter Tello. From Panama in Hermosillo, Mexico. October the 30th, 2010, Raul Garcia wins and points over 12 rounds against Luis de la Rosa from Colombia in Cartagena, Colombia. Now, Raul Garcia was upgraded from interim to full champion. So, April the 30th, 2011, Raul Garcia from Mexico wins in the third round. Referee stops the match against Rommel Asenjo from the Philippines in Mexico City, Mexico. Then, August 27th, 2011, Moises Funtes from Mexico. Wins and points. Over 12 rounds against Raul Garcia in Guadalajara, Mexico. Then June 2nd, 2012, Moises Fuentes wins by KO in the first round against Julio Cesar Felix from Mexico into Tijuana, Mexico. Then October the 6th, 2012, Moises Fuentes from Mexico. Wins in the fifth round, referee stops the match against Ivan Calderon from Mexico also. That was in Bayamon, Puerto Rico. Then Moises Fuentes from Mexico vacated. So Maurizio Sabello upgraded to interim champion to full champion. So, and he's from the Philippines. So, July 13th, 2013, Rito Sabilo from the Philippines wins by KO in the ninth round against Jury Estrada from Colombia in Melilla, Philippines. Then November 30th, 2013, Rito Sabilo draws over 12 rounds against Carlos Bertrago from Nicaragua. 12 rounds draw there in Melilla, Philippines. March the 22nd, 2014, Francisco Rodriguez Jr. from Mexico 
wins in the 10th round, referee stops the match against Marito Sabillo in Monterrey, Mexico. So, might get this all in one video to finish, maybe. See how I go. So, May the 30th, 2015, we start as Francisco Rodriguez Jr. has vacated the title. We're still on the WBO title, by the way. So, May the 30th, 2015, Kosika Tanaka from Japan wins on points over 12 rounds against Julian Yedras from Mexico in Komaki, Japan. The WBA previously sanctioned the following for an interim title. So March the 9th, 2013, Melito Sabillo wins in the eighth round. The referee stops the match against Luis de La Rosa from Colombia in Crete, Colombia. So we're going to go through the WBC title. Yeah, so September 1999, Lopez relinquishes, Ricardo Lopez relinquishes the title. So one D Chor Charion declares as a champion now. So but he's gonna lose it. So February eleventh, two thousand, Jose Antonio Aguirre from Mexico wins on points over twelve rounds. It's one D Chor Charion from Thailand. He loses on points, so he gets elected a champion but loses it. And that was in Samut Sarkorn, Thailand. So July the seventh, two thousand, Jose Antonio Aguirre wins in the fifth round by KO against Jose Luis Zapida from Mexico. In Valahermosa from Mex uh, in Mexico, that's where it was. So October twenty first, two thousand, Jose Antonio Aguirre from Mexico wins in the fourth round. Referee stops the match against Erdine Shulun from I think that's Monaco. M O N Monaco. It must be, um, and that. Mexico City, Mexico, that was in. So, February 2nd, 2001, Jose Antonio Aguirre from Mexico. February 2nd, 2001, Jose Antonio Aguirre wins on points. Over 12 rounds against Manny Melchor from the Philippines in Tijuana, Mexico. Then November the 10th, 2001, Jose Antonio Aguirre wins in the third round. Referee stops the match against Wolf Tokemitsu from Japan in Okayama, Japan. Then October the 19th, 2002, Jose Antonio Aguirre wins on points over 12 rounds against Juan Palacios from Nicaragua in Valaja. Mosa, Mexico. So February 22nd, 2003, Jose Antonio Aguirre wins in the seventh round, roughly stops the match against John Alfonso Quebas from Mexico, Mexico City, Mexico. Then June 23rd, 2003, Jose Antonio Aguirre wins in the 12th round, roughly stops the match against Kiyotaro Hoshino from Japan in Yokohama, Japan. Then Eagle Crower. Yes, yeah, I. So. January the 10th, 2004. Ego Eagle Kawawa from Japan wins and points over 12 rounds against Jose Antonio Aguirre. Tokyo, Japan. Uh, then June 28th, 2004, Igo Kawawa 
went to technical decision over eight rounds against Jatoshi Kogamazaka from Japan. Eight round technical decision, he wins in Yokohama, Japan, December the 18th, 2004. Isaac Bustos from Mexico wins in the fourth round. Referee stops the match against Eagle Kroa, Kawawa from Mexico, um, from Japan, in Tokyo, Japan. Then April the 4th, 2005, Katsunuri Takayama from Japan wins on points over 12 rounds against Isaac Bustos in Osaka, Japan. August the 6th, 2005, Eagle Kawawa wins on points. I suppose his wife thought as well. There's, a, there's some interesting facts there. Um, he had a wife that thought as well, I'm sure. But um, in the women's, obviously. Um, so August the 6th, 2005, Eagle Kawawa from Japan wins on points over 12 rounds against Katsunuri Takayama from Japan in Tokyo, Japan. Then January the 9th, 2006, Igor Kawawa wins in the seventh round. Referee stops the match against Ken Nakajima from Japan. Seventh round, referee stops the match in Yokohama, Japan. May the 6th, 2006, Igor Kawawa wins on points over 12 rounds. Uh, on points against Rodo Mayor from the Philippines. That was in Turkey, to Tokyo, Japan. And then November the 13th, 2006, Igor Eagle Kowawa wins a point. So over 12 rounds, it's R Lorenzo Trejo from Mexico in Tokyo, Japan. Then June the 4th, 2007, Igor Kowawa wins a point. So over 12 rounds. Akiri Yageshi from Japan in Yokohama, Japan. Then November the 29th, 2007, Ulei Dong Sifsamurcia from Thailand wins and points over 12 rounds against Igo Igo Kuroa from Japan in Bangkok, Thailand. Then January the 18th, 2008, Oloye Dong from Thailand wins in the ninth round against Junichi Ebesuka from Japan. Ninth round KO in Phuket, Thailand. November the 27th, 2008, Oloye Dong from Thailand wins on points over 12 rounds against Porn Sawat. Paul Pramud, Porn Sawat one, Paul Pramud, Porn Sawan Paul Pramud from Thailand. Uh, he gets beaten on points against Oleg Dong Sifsamurchia from Thailand. Also, that was in Fit San Luke, Thailand. So May the 29th, 2009, Oleg Dong Sifsan Murchia from Thailand wins a technical decision this time over 11 rounds against Mohamed Rachman from, in, I'd imagine that's Indonesia, it might be India, I'm not too sure. That was in Phuket, Thailand. Then November the 27th, 2009, Oleg Dong Sif Samurchia wins on points over 12 rounds against John Palacios Nicaragua and that was in range set Thailand <clears throat> and in the WBC previously sanctioned these for the interim fights as also so these were these were the interim fights from here onwards As follows there. <laughs> so we go August the second, two thousand and eight. Jean Palacios wins in the tenth round 
Referee stops the match against Omar Soto from Puerto Rico in Ponce, Puerto Rico. And in November the 7th, 2008, Jean Palacios wins in the seventh round. Referee stops the match against Toru Misawa from Japan in Chengdu, I think that's China. Um, June the 13th, 2009, Jean Palacios wins in the 10th round. Referee stops the match against Eric Ramirez from Mexico in Mexico City, Mexico. Then March 27th, 2010, Oiloik Dong Sif Sanurchia wins on points over 12 rounds against Yasataka Kuroki from Japan in Tokyo, Japan. September 3rd, 2010, Oiloik Don Sif Sanurchia draws over 12 rounds against Pornsawat Popramuk, as in Chiang Mai, Thailand. In February 11th, 2011, Kazutu Loka from Japan wins in the fifth round. The referee stops the match uh, against Oloig Dong Sif Sanurchia from Thailand in Kobe, Japan. So we've got August the 10th, 2011. Kazutu Loka wins on points over 12 rounds against Juan Hernandez from Mexico in Tokyo, Japan. December the 31st, 2011, Kazuto Loka wins in the first round. Ruffy stops the match against Yoan Tor Chalamchia from Thailand. Yoan Tor Chalamchia from Thailand loses in the first round to Kazuto Loka. From Japan in Osaka, Japan. Loka relinquishes the title after winning the unification match with the WPA champion Akira Yageshi. So, November 24th, 2012, Zhong Zhao Zong from China wins on points over 12 rounds against Javier Martinez. Javier Martinez Resendiz from Mexico. That was in coming, uh, I think that's China. I'm sure it is the vacant title. C H I. I'm sure it is, yeah. And then we got June 20, June 28th, 2013. Zhong Zhao Zhong wins and points over 12 rounds against Denver Kulo from the Philippines in Dubai. United Arab Emirates, and then we've got November 30th, 2013. Zong Zhao Zong wins in the fifth round by referee stopping the contest against Lukrat Kiat Mungmi from Thailand, and that's in Magan, uh, China, I think. February 5th, 2014. Oswaldo Navoa. From Mexico wins in the fifth round. Referee stops the contest. Of oh, we've done that one. Uh, yeah, go for this one. So February fifth, two thousand and fourteen. Oswaldo Navoa from Mexico wins in the fifth round. Referee stops the match against Zong Zhao Zong. That was in Hayako, China. And then we go uh, November the 6th, 2016. Again, I've heard him called Chaser, but again, Chafon Moonsrig, going to do it as it says here, and a few other names for him, but again, yeah, not going to go from there. Uh, from Thailand, Chafon Moonsri wins in the ninth round by retirement against Osvaldo Navoa in Chumburi, Thailand. Now, February 5th, 2015, Xiaofon Moonstreet wins on points over 12 rounds against Jeffrey Galero from the Philippines in Nakhon Sawan, Thailand. Then, June 2nd, 2015, Xiaofon Moonstreet wins by KO in the ninth round against Jerry Tomagdan from the Philippines in Bangkok, Thailand. In November 24th, 2015, Chiafon 
Moon Sri wins. In the ninth round, Ruffy stops the match against Young Gi Bi from South Korea in Chumburi, Thailand. Then, March the 3rd, 2016, Cherifon Moon Sri wins in the fifth round against Go Odari from Japan in Nakhon Rachazima uh, in Thailand. Then, August the 2nd, 2016, Chaisal Chayafon Moonsri wins on points over 12 rounds against Sal Jarez from Mexico in Chonburi, Thailand. Then January the 25th, 2017, Chayafon Moonsri wins on points. I'm sure it's Chaisal, but I might be saying it wrong. Um, I've heard it say Chaisal, but Chaisal Moonsin wins and points over 12 rounds against Omari Kim Wurry from Australia or Austria, one of the two, I think it's Australia, in Rayong, Thailand. So November 25th, 2017, Chaisal Moonsin wins and points over 12 rounds against Chaisal Moonsin, though, Tatsua against Tatsua for. Kuhara from Japan in Nak Nakon Rachisima, Thailand. So we've got one for the WBC and WBA titles here. So we've got June 20th, 2012. Kazuto Locker wins on points over 12 rounds against Ak Akiri Yageshi in Osaka, Japan. Then we've got the WBA title. Might have to do this in two videos, I think. Uh, but again, here we go. So, the WBA title now. October the 9th, 1999. Noel Arambulet from Venezuela wins in points. Over 12 rounds against Jomo Gambao in Crackers, Venezuela. Then March the 4th, 2000. Noel Arambulet wins in points. Over 12 rounds against Jose Garcia from Colombia, Crackers, Venezuela. Then August the 20th, 2000, Jomo Gamboa wins on points over 12 rounds against Noel Arumbulet from Venezuela in Tokyo, Japan. And then December the 6th, 2000, Hiataro Hoshino from Japan wins on points over 12 rounds against Jomo Gamboa in Yoko, from, that was in Yokohama, Japan. Then we got uh, April the 16th, 2001, Chana Porpian, Porpion, Chana Porpion from Thailand wins and points over 12 rounds against Kiataro Hoshino from Japan in Yokohama, Japan. Then August 25th, 2001, Yotaka Nida, Nida from Japan wins and points over 12 rounds against Chana Porpian. As in Yoko from Japan, Chauvin's win for Nyoda. He and he retired Nyoda. Then January 29th, 2002, Kiyotaro Hoshino from Japan wins some points over 12 rounds against Jomo Gamboa in Yokohama, Japan for the vacant title. Then July 29th, 2002, Noel Noel Arambulet from Venezuela. Wins on points over 12 rounds against Takaro Hoshino uh, in Yokohama, Japan. December the 20th, 2002. Noel Arambulet wins on points over 12 rounds against Tak Takaro Hoshino in Yokohama, Japan. July 12th, 2003. Noel Arambulet wins on points over 12 rounds against Yataka Nida uh, in Yokohama, Japan. In uh, July 3rd, 2004, Yataka Nyada wins the points over 12 rounds. It's Noel Arambulet from Venezuela in Tokyo, uh, that was in Tokyo, Japan. So we're going to go October 30th, 2004, Yataka Nyada from Japan wins the points over 12 rounds against John Jose. Landerta from Venezuela in Tokyo, Japan. Then 
April 16th, 2005, Jataka Niada wins on points over 12 rounds against Ji Won Kim from Korea and Tokyo, Japan. And then we've got September 25th, 2005, Yataka Niada wins on points. Oh, uh, wins on the technical decision actually over 10 rounds against Roberto Gajon from Philippines. In Yokohama, Japan, then the March the 4th, 2006, Yataka Niada from Japan wins on points over 12 rounds against Ronaldo Barrera from Colombia and Tokyo, Tokyo Japan. Then uh, April the 7th, 2007, Yataka Niada wins on points over 12 rounds against Katsunori Takayama from Japan in Tokyo, Japan. Gonna finish over here. So I'm gonna get this set up. Yeah, so September. So September the 1st, 2007, Yataka, Yataka Niada from Japan wins on points over 12 rounds. Against Roberto Gajun from the Philippines in Tokyo, Japan. Then March the 1st, 2008, Yatsaka Niada wins by KO against Jose Luis Varela from Venezuela in Tokyo, Japan. September the 15th, 2008, Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez from Nicaragua wins in the fourth round. The referee stops the match against Yatsaka. Niada from Japan in Yokohama, Japan, February 28th, 2009. Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez wins in the 12, uh, wins over 12 rounds against Francisco Rojas from Mexico in Osaka, Japan. Then we got uh, July the 14th, 2009. Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez wins on points over 12 rounds against Katsunari Takayama from Japan in Kobe, Japan. Then January the 30th, 2010, Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez wins by retirement against Ivan Manessis from Mexico in Pueblo, Mexico. Roman Gonzalez relinquished the title to box at flight flyway. So November the 5th, 2010, Wan Thai Sith Mo Seng from Thailand wins some points over 12 rounds against Pygmy Kokoit Jim from Thailand in Bangkok, Thailand for the vacant title. Then we've got April the 19th, 2011. Mohammed Rachman from Indonesia wins by KO against Wan Quan, Quan Thai Sith Mo Seng from Thailand in Bangkok, Thailand. Then you've got July the 30th, 2011, Porn Sawan Popramuk from Thailand wins some points over 12 rounds against Mohammed Rachman from Indonesia and Jakarta, Indonesia. Then October the 24th, 2011, Akira Yagashi from uh, Japan wins in the 10th round. The referee stops the match against Porn Sawan. Popramuk from Thailand and Tokyo, Japan. Yagashi, oh, Akira Yagashi lost his WBA title and WC. Lost his WBA title to WBC champion Kazuto Locker in a unification match. So Locker then relinquishes the title to box that light fly the way above. So December. December 31st, 2012, Royo Miyazaki from Japan wins on points over 12 rounds against Porn Sawan Papramuk from Thailand in Osaka, Japan for the vacant title. Then May 8th, 2013, Royo Miyazaki from Japan wins in the fifth round, roughly stops the match against Carlos Ballard from Mexico in Osaka, Japan. Then September 11th, 2013, Rio Miyazaki wins some points over 12 rounds against Jesus 
Sylvester from Mexico now Saka Japan. Miyazaki vacates the title, so March the 1st, 2014, Heki Badla from RSA, I think that's South Africa, yeah, uh, wins by KO in the first round against Carlos Diaz from Colombia in Kempton Park, South Africa for the vacant title. Then June 21st, 2014, Heki Badla wins by KO against Pygmy Kokai Jim from Thailand in Monte Carlo, Monaco. Then October the 1st, 2014, Heki Badla wins some points over 12 rounds against Zong Zhao Zong. Or Zhong Zhao Zong. Uh, wins some points over 12 rounds in Monte Carlo, Monaco. Then February 21st, 2015, Heki Badla wins some points over 12 rounds against Jesus Sylvester in Monte Carlo, Monaco, then the WBA sanctioned the following for the interim title. So, October 23rd, 2010, Sami Gutierrez from Mexico wins on points over 12 rounds against Luis Carrillo from Colombia in Puebla, Mexico. Then February the 12th, 2011, Sami Gutierrez from Mexico wins in the sixth round. That referee stops the match against Renan Trong from the Philippines in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Then May 21st, 2011, Jean Palacios from Nicaragua wins and points over 12 rounds against Sammy Gutierrez uh, in Pueblo, Mexico. Then August 13th, 2011, Jean Palacios from Mexico. Uh, August 13th, 2011, Jean Palacios uh, wins in the ninth round. Referee stops the match against Armando Torres from Mexico in Acapulco, Mexico. Then November the 7th, 2011, Kia Kokai Jim from Thailand wins some points over 12 rounds against Jesus Sylvester from Mexico in Nong Kai, Thailand. July the 14th, 2012, Jesus Sylvester wins some points over 12 rounds against Edwin Diaz from Panama. In Tepic, Mexico, October the 6th, 2012. Jesus Sylvester wins in the fourth round against Takayuma Mitamura from Japan in Tepic, Mexico. Then November the 9th, 2013, Heki Butler wins in the fourth round. Referee stops the match against Hugo Hernan. Vercelli from Argentina in Kempton Park, South Africa. Then the WBA sanctioned the following fights for their interim title. So October the 1st, 2014. Pham Manun Pham Manun from Thailand. Wins and points over 12 rounds against Carlos Biotrago. Uh, that was in Bur Buriram, Thailand. Then May the 5th, 2015, St. Romero Day, uh, Famun, Famamun, Neom Trong from Thailand wins and points over 12 rounds against Mohamed Rachman from Indonesia in Chamburi, Thailand. Then uh, July the 2nd, 2015, Mamun Neom Trong from Thailand wins in the fourth round. Referee stops the match against Alexis Diaz from Venezuela in Nakhon Rachisima, Thailand. So, gonna finish, see if I can get this all on. Yeah, gonna win this one. Okay. This one. So, October the 25th. 2015, Heki Butler wins on points over 12 rounds against Sim Thiwi Konko from South Africa, Kempton Park, South Africa, for the WBA and IBO titles. February 4th, 2016, Famamun Nyom Trong from Thailand wins on points over 12 rounds against Carlos Biatrago from Nicaragua in Chomburi, Thailand. Then June 29, 
Famamun Nyom Trong from Thailand wins on points. Over 12 rounds against Byron Rojas from Nicaragua in Koi Kin, Thailand for the WBA title. December the 14th, 2016, Famamun Nyom Trong from Thailand wins on points over 12 rounds against Shin Ono Ono from Japan in Nakon Ratachis. Ratachisma from uh, in Thailand. That's where it was. So March the first, two thousand and sixteen, for Mamun, for Mamunu, from Mam, Manun, for Mam Manun, for Mamunun, Nyom Trong from Thailand wins by KO in the fifth round against Go. Odiari from Japan in Chamburi, Thailand, July the 15th, 2017, for Mamunun, for Nyom Trong from Thailand, wins some points over 12 rounds against Ray Loretto from the Philippines in Chamburi, Thailand. Then IBF and WBA titles, August the 9th, 2014, Francisco Rodriguez Jr. from Mexico wins some points over 12 rounds against Katsunuri Takeyama from Japan in Nuevo Leon, Mexico. Rodriguez vacated the title, so December the 31st, 2014, Katsunuri Takeyama from Japan wins some points over 12 rounds against Jin Ono. In Japan also in Osaka Japan and Takeyama uh, Takeyama vacated the WBO title there Katsunuri Takeyama vacated the WBO title now the IBF title so December 31st 2014 Katsunuri Takeyama from Japan wins in the seventh round against Go Diara from Japan in Osaka Japan Ruffy stops the match in the seventh round for Takeyama April 22nd, 2015, Katsunuri Takeyama wins in the ninth round by technical decision against Tiafong or Tiafong Utiada from Thailand in Osaka, Japan. He retires him in the ninth round, Katsunuri Takeyama. Then September 27th, 2015, Katsunuri Takeyama from Japan wins in the eighth round, roughly stops the match against Rui. Ryuji Hara from Japan in Osaka, Japan. Then December 31st, 2015, Jose Argumedo from Mexico wins on a technical decision in the ninth round against Katsunuri Takeyama from Japan in Osaka, Japan. July the 1st, 2016, Jose Argumedo from Mexico wins on points over 12 rounds in Judo Mendoza. From Nicaragua in Tepic, Mexico, November the 12th, 2016. George R. Gomedo from Mexico wins in the third round. Referee stops the match against Jose Antonio Jimenez from Mexico in Cuadradad Vales. So, so Ciudad Vales, Mexico, that was in. And then May 27th, 2017, Jose Argomedo from Mexico wins in the eighth round. Ruffy stops the match against Gabriel Mendoza from Colombia in Mon Monterrey, Mexico. So July 23rd, 2017, Hiroto Kayaguchi from Japan wins on points over 12 rounds against George Argomedo. From Mexico in Tokyo, Japan, December the 31st, 2017. Hiroto Kayaguchi from Japan wins in the eighth round. Ruffy stops the match against Carlos Biatrago from Nicaragua. Brilliant. Finished. All done now. All eight in divisions. Last one. So, WBA Super Title, March the 19th, 2016. Byron Rogers from Nicaragua wins on points over 12 rounds against Heki Butler from South Africa 
in Kempton Park, South Africa. That's all 18 divisions. That's the end of the strawway. Sorry, all 17 divisions. End of the strawway. I know other organisations got a super heavy also. But again, 17. Bang. All done.